Hello everyone, it's Odumayewa Victor Ogunshola from IDPS.com. IDPS means I Diagnose and Profile Solutions. Today I've got something very interesting for everybody. So are you a student in any part of the world? Whether you study business management or whatever it is that you may be studying. Or are you an entrepreneur trying to start your own business? Or you're already in business? Or are you an employee in any organization anywhere in the world? Today's topic is useful for every one of us. And today I am going to be talking about SWOT analysis, as you can already see from the whiteboard. So the first two questions that we will be tackling today uh, are the questions of what? What is SWOT analysis and then why? Why SWOT analysis? If you come with me to the whiteboard, I'll explain to us what SWOT analysis is and then why SWOT analysis. And to, to, to cap it up, I'm going to uh, make a, a practical, I have prepared a practical SWOT analysis for McDonald's. So please enjoy this video on SWOT analysis. First question, what is SWOT analysis? SWOT analysis is a strategic management tool. So SWOT analysis, apart from being a strategic management tool, is a planning tool that helps the organization moves closer to achieving its goals and objectives. But more importantly, SWOT analysis helps the organization to identify its strengths, as you can see on there. The strengths of the organizations are characteristics of that organization which give that organization advantages over their rivals. So the strengths of the organizations are the things that the organizations are doing so well in. The reason they keep having their customers, the reason the customers keep preferring this particular organization to other many organizations, these are the strengths of the organization. Okay, and also the, the SWOT analysis helps the organization to identify its weaknesses. Okay, SWOT analysis helps an organization to identify its strengths, helps the organization to identify its weaknesses. The weaknesses of the organization are the characteristics within that business that make it disadvantageous uh, relative to the competitors. So the areas for improvement, the things that this business organization is not doing so well at, the areas where customers are complaining, these could be said to be the weaknesses of the organization. SWOT analysis uh, going further, the old there stands for opportunities. These are the numerous opportunities that we can find in the external business environment which the organization needs to explore and exploit. There are so many opportunities in the business environment for all organizations. So that's the uh, all of the SWOT analysis. And the T of the SWOT analysis are the also elements in the external environment that could endanger the integrity and profitability of the business. Remember, every business is in it for money. We are all there to make profits, okay? So the threats are those things that could become a barrier to us making money, to us making profit, or that could be a barrier to our integrity, business image. Uh, the, the, this is SWOT analysis. But uh, So we now know what a SWOT analysis is. Also, I'd like to emphasize that SWOT analysis uh, is uh, very important when it relates because it relates to business competition. What are the strengths of organization A compared to the strengths of organization B? What are the weaknesses of organization A as compared to organization B? Or what opportunities are available to organization A at, as compared to organizations B, C, and D? Okay, so it's related to business competition. Furthermore, SWOT analysis helps to specify the objectives of a business and helps to identify the internal and external factors that are favorable or unfavorable to achieve business objectives. So some factors are internal, some factors are external. Some factors are favorable to, to the uh, achieving the business objectives of the organization and some factors are not favorable to uh, achieving the business objectives of the organization. Perhaps I should really explain which of the factors are internal factors and which of the four factors are external factors. When we talk about SWOT analysis, the strengths of the organization, 
The strengths of the organization, as you can see there, the strengths of the organization equals uh, internal. The strengths of the organization are internal to the organization. The organization can do so many things about its own strengths. So the strengths of the organization are internal within the organization. As well, the weaknesses of the organization are also internal. So the weaknesses of the organization can be improved by that same organization. This is internal to the organization. However, the opportunities that is available to this organization is not internal. These opportunities can be found in the external business environment. Okay? Opportunities external. Okay? The opportunities can be found in the external business environment. And these opportunities, when we find them, we don't leave them like that. We need to explore the opportunities and exploit the opportunities. A lot of business organizations are failing or are not progressing because they fail to identify opportunities. And when they finally identify these opportunities, they fail to explore and exploit the opportunities. And uh, lastly, we have the threats. And as you can already tell, the threats are not internal, the threats are also within the external business environment, okay? Threats as well, external, okay? The threats are as well within the external uh, business environment. One thing I would also like to have here is that from the four SWOT analysis tool, the strengths, the weakness, the opportunities, and the threats, you can already see that two of the tools are helpful and two of the tools are harmful. Or I could say two of the tools are favorable for the organization and two of the tools are unfavorable for the organization. Yes, you have gotten it right. The strengths and the opportunities are very helpful tools. The strengths of the organization are the characteristics of that organization which gives the organization advantages over the competitors. These are the reasons why customers and clients keep patronizing you, keep coming back to you over your uh, rivals, over your co com competitors. Okay, So the strengths are it's a favorable tool. Also, the opportunity which lies in the external environment is a favorable tool. But when we talk about the weaknesses and threats, these are harmful tools and these are unfavorable tools. I think at this point in time, I would like to talk about why. Why does an organization need to carry out a SWOT analysis? <clears throat> Firstly, we would encourage business organizations to carry out SWOT analysis on a regular basis, okay? On a regular basis, uh, SWOT analysis must be carried out so that we continue to know our strengths and we can uh, uh, key into that and, and, and use, use that uh, 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 as a major uh, 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 tool with, uh, within our organization, the strengths, okay? Uh, and then we identify the weakness and improve on them. I like to actually call the weaknesses the areas for improvement okay and then we can identify and spot the opportunities within the business environment and then explore and exploit those opportunities and we can stay away from the threat so why SWOT analysis it is important that all organizations conduct regular SWOT analysis because it can be used to explore new solutions to problems with your SWOT analysis you can get solutions to problems with your SWOT analysis, you can decide on the direction that will be most effective for the organization. So with your SWOT analysis, you can, through the opportunities, you can decide to say, oh, this is the relevant direction. This is the right direction for our <coughs> organization. With the threats being spotted, you can say, that's not the right direction. We need to go this way, okay? With a SWOT analysis, it helps to identify barriers that will limit the goals of the organization, okay? And th those barriers could be seen as the threats. Those barriers could be the weaknesses that needs to be worked upon, okay? With the SWOT analysis, it helps to reveal possibilities, opportunities, okay? All limitations, threats for change. 
and also the SWOT analysis can be seen as a brainstorming device a brainstorming device where the employees can sit down together or members of a particular department can sit down together and say what have we done well so far then we have to capitalize on these things and keep doing that because that's why we 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 awarded the best department what do we need to improve on that's why customers are complaining about our department how do we improve on these things okay what opportunities are there that we have failed to explore and exploit? It's time for us to grab those opportunities, okay? And then we can uh, expand the business or make more profit. And as well, what are the threats out there that we need to stay away from? So as a, a case study for this particular video, I've decided to carry out a simple SWOT analysis for McDonald's, okay? So this is a simple SWOT analysis for McDonald's. I'll just put that here for McDonald's. Okay, McDonald's is the beef burger, hamburger shop that we all know about, uh, international, worldwide McDonald's, same restaurant. Okay, the key strengths of this uh, McDonald's uh, franchise restaurant is the brand popularity, whether it's the UK, whether it's the USA, whether it's Netherlands. Whether it's in Sweden, McDonald's is a popular brand. In every continent, this is a popular brand when it comes to hamburgers, okay? McDonald's. Consistency of food. Another key strength of McDonald's brand is consistency in its meals, the burger, the burger meals, okay? Another strength of this organization is that in the USA, uh, they own 42% of the market share for the hamburger business in the United States of America. That's huge, isn't it? Another strength of this organization is the balance sheet position. They are always making profits. These are examples of how you, in your SWOT analysis, can tailor the strengths for the organization. Don't forget the strengths again are the characteristics which give your organization advantages over the com com competitors. If you look at these points on, on, of strength, you will see that these points are the reasons why McDonald's have an advantage over the so many other burger uh, food businesses that we have around the world. Let's look at weaknesses. SWOTs, W, weaknesses, okay? The decline in market share. Okay, there's been, uh, I made a research and I found that there's been a kind of decline in the market share of McDonald's uh, around the world. This could be because uh, people are now becoming more health conscious and they want healthy meals. Also, uh, weak product development. I found out that uh, while McDonald's is introducing new meals, that's not sufficient. So what we have now is a weak product development and that could be seen as a weakness. So these are areas for improvement for the organization McDonald's. What are the opportunities in the external environment for McDonald's? McDonald's can go into joint ventures with retailers. McDonald's can go into joint business with supermarkets around the world. Okay. Also, another opportunity that McDonald's can key into is the growing dining out population around the world. A lot of people are now uh, dining out uh, because they don't have time to cook their meals and the McDonald's can key into this. Another opportunity there for McDonald's is uh, that they can continue to focus more on CSR, corporate social responsibility. And a lot of people are becoming conscious of uh, the kind of businesses they patronize. So a lot of people want to patronize businesses that are seen to be helping the environment and the society that we live in as well. Another opportunity for McDonald's is the opportunity to keep expanding on an international uh, level global expansion. There is opportunity for McDonald's to expand into a lot of countries where they are not already existing. So uh, these are some opportunities for McDonald's. Uh, then let's talk about this, the threats. A major threat for such a restaurant as McDonald's is that people are becoming more health conscious. So we was I don't want to eat fatty foods. I don't want to eat uh, burger meals. I want health, health, uh, healthy meals. People want to have healthy meals, okay? 
the strength of the competition could also be a threat because a lot of people are coming into that industry uh, McDonald's is not uh, the only burger shops that we have around in, in these countries around the world so there is competition now and that's already a threat because some of the market share uh, is being taken away from them also another major threat is recession if there are recession in some countries where mcdonald's exists which means a downturn in economy uh customers will not be able to patronize mcdonald's which means sales will drop that's an example of SWOT analysis of mcdonald's ladies and gentlemen i hope that i've been able to explain what SWOT analysis is like I said, it's a strategic management tool that helps the organization to identify their strengths, helps them to identify their weaknesses or areas for improvement, helps them to identify the opportunities in the external environment and the threats in the external environment. Remember, those opportunities must be explored and uh, exploited. And why? Why should we uh, use SWOT analysis? It brings solutions on board, okay? It helps you to identify barriers that uh, will limit the uh, that will limit. It helps you to identify barriers that could limit the goals and objectives of your organization. Also, it acts as a brainstorming device within the organizations. So, thank you for that, ladies and gentlemen. And I hope that you can use the knowledge gained from this video of mine today to make a SWOT analysis for your own small business or for the organization that you work in. Or if you're a student, you can use this knowledge to uh, help uh, with your assignments on SWOT analysis for any organization in the world. Thank you very much. We'd like to hear feedback from you. So if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube. Uh, if you want to send us an email on how we can improve and serve you better, please send an email to info at idps.com info at idps.com or you can visit our website www.idps.com and then you can send us an email again it's www.idpsconsults.com and you can send us an email and remember we are here to serve you we are here to educate the world you know that i will not go until i talk about my passion and my passion is that africa must develop so I say, are you an African anywhere in the world? Let us keep doing everything to promote African unity and let us keep doing everything to make sure that Africa must develop. Yes, Africa must develop. So this is where it ends today. In English language, I like to say thank you. In Dutch language from the Netherlands, I like to say thank you all. Yoruba language from Nigeria, West Africa, I like to say a shame. Bye.